I'm Chef Say. High fructose corn syrup runs rampant in processed food. It makes appearances in ketchup, bread, pasta, frozen foods, soups, and even salad dressings. I recently discovered it in a package of meatloaf. Sure, the processed version is easy because all you do is heat and serve, but what about the flavor? That's why I decided to make my own version that's packed with flavor and high in protein. Yes, it does take longer in the oven, but the results are worth it. Join me in the kitchen and see how it's done. To start off our meatloaf recipe, we're gonna chop our vegetables separately because the onions are so soft, they're gonna chop faster than the carrots and the celery. So we're gonna just pulse this a couple times. There we go, that's done. So onions go in and then we're gonna do our carrots and our celery together. And again, we want the pieces to be pretty fine so they're not too chunky when you, when you bite into the meatloaf. So again, carrots and celery in. And again, you're just gonna pulse these just like the onions. There we go. There, that's perfect. See how those are nice, finely chopped. They're gonna integrate well into the meatloaf. So now these go in with our onions. And there's a substantial amount of liquid in these vegetables, so we need to saute them first. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And then, because everybody loves bacon, we're gonna add some bacon. This is just gonna add a nice little bit of flavor without adding too much fat. Now you may wonder, why would I wanna put olive oil in a pan with bacon? Well, the bacon is gonna render some fat, but I also wanna give it a jump start with the olive oil so that we have a nice base when those vegetables go in. So we're just gonna saute our bacon until it's nice and crisp, and then those vegetables can go in saute these until they release their liquids and then that liquid evaporates. That takes about 15 minutes. Take a look at the pan. See how there's no more juice left in the pans and these vegetables have gotten nice and soft. There's another reason we also saute is so the vegetables don't add too much crunch. I don't, I just kind of want them to blend into the meatloaf. I don't want them to be too crunchy. So into this, we're gonna add our white wine and this is gonna help deglaze the pan because we have some nice caramelized brown bits on the bottom that we wanna scrape up. So we're gonna add our wine and let that completely reduce and sprinkle over a little fresh thyme and this is gonna to start to smell heavenly in the kitchen. There, that's perfect. The wine has completely absorbed and reduced. This smells unbelievable. I really wish you could smell this. So what we're gonna do is turn the heat off and let these cool a little bit. I don't want them to be too hot when we add them to our ground beef. So to make the main part of the meatloaf, I have two pounds of 5% fat sirloin. I'm gonna add some cubed white bread. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna absorb some of the liquids as the ground beef cooks. I'm gonna add our salt, just sprinkle that over the top. A Little bit of finely ground black pepper. And then we're gonna use eggs as our binding agent. So this is gonna hold everything together since there's not a lot of fat in that ground beef. There we go. Perfect. Now we're just gonna briefly mix this with our hands. And now that these vegetables have had time to cool down just a little bit, we're gonna add them directly in. Perfect. And now again, mixing with our hands. There we go. That should be pretty good. See how everything's nicely incorporated? And I'm just using a regular bread loaf pan. So now all I'm gonna do is take a handful of meat and press that nicely and firmly down into the bottom of your pan. And then just keep adding it in. There we go. And this is probably gonna make enough for eight to 10 people. Now, if you can't eat it all in one day, that's okay. Slice it into individual slices and freeze it. There we go. And then the very top, we're just gonna mound that slightly. Oh. It's gonna be so tasty. Now this is going to go into the oven. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes to cook. Our meatloaf is done. It's had time to rest. Look how beautiful that is, all nice and golden. Now you'll notice there's a little bit of liquid around the side, that's okay, just leave it in the pan. And the easiest way I've found is to just take two forks, stick it in the sides, and then gently lift it out. Wow, 
Look how juicy that is. It stays so nice and tender. And then all we have to do is slice it. So let's take a look at what that looks like inside. Your kids are gonna love this. Your husband's gonna love this. Your wife's gonna love that. Oh, it's just so beautiful, studded with all those perfect vegetables. This version actually packs more protein than the processed version, and it tastes 10 times better. Join me in skipping the package and make it from scratch. Happy and healthy eating.